Once your offer to buy a house is accepted, you should schedule a home inspection right away. The inspection period or due diligence period is typically 10 calendar days, but it can be longer or shorter depending on what was negotiated in your offer. During the inspection period, there are several different types of inspections you may want to request. A home inspection and termite inspection are the most common and both are strongly recommended. Depending on the property, it might also be a good idea to have the sewer scoped, as well as inspections on the pool, attic, AC, roof, or solar panels. Your real estate agent and home inspector can give you the pros and cons of these different types of inspections. Keep in mind that any inspections you decide to do is an out-of-pocket expense to you as a buyer. You would pay the inspection companies directly at the time of the inspection and it's not part of your closing costs. You can plan on spending around four to $500 for a home inspection, depending on the size of the house. If you add any additional inspections, the price would go up from there. When you're making such a significant investment like buying a home, this is a small cost to pay for the peace of mind that an inspection provides. Inspections can also also uncover issues that may not be apparent to the naked eye, such as hidden structural problems, electrical issues, a pest infestation, and so much more. This knowledge can protect you from unexpected future expenses and help you make an informed decision about the property you're considering buying. With so many different inspection companies out there, it can be difficult to figure out which ones to choose. Your real estate agent should be able to give you several recommendations, and you can also do some research search online by checking out companies' websites and their reviews. Now let's talk about what happens the day of the inspection. When the home inspector comes out to the house, they spend several hours thoroughly checking hundreds of items. Some of these items include electrical, plumbing, roof, attic, AC, and built-in appliances. After the inspection is done, the buyer and buyer's agent will meet the inspector at the house at a set time. He or she will then review all the items they found to be a potential issue. This usually takes between 30 minutes to an hour Hour, depending on the amount of items found and the number of questions that the buyer has for the inspector. At the end of the business day, the inspector will email the buyer and agent a detailed inspection report that includes photos and explanations. Now, sometimes the report can seem overwhelming because it can be like 50 to 60 pages long. This is totally normal. All homes will have unsatisfactory items on the report, even brand new ones. If you decide you want to ask the seller for any repairs, we need to send these requests in writing on a document called the BINZER. BINZER is an acronym for Buyer Inspection Notice and Seller Response. This document must be sent to the seller by the end of the day on the final day of the inspection period. Now, before you send the BINZER to the seller, you want to make sure you are done with all your inspections and you've read through the seller disclosures, ensure insurance claim history and HOA rules and regulations. Everything you wanted to investigate about the house should be complete. If anything discovered during the inspection period is a deal breaker for you, you are able to cancel the contract altogether and get back your earnest deposit. For more information about the Binzer, you can watch my YouTube video about the entire Binzer process, which includes how to best ask sellers for repairs. If you have any questions about the home buying process, you can reach out to me online at theforkandbrockgroup.com or on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe and download our free buyer guide on YouTube.